the best reminder this weekend, the best reminder about how long the stuff happens, how long the stuff takes to come to life. We, how long ago now? I want to say seven years ago, made the decision that we wanted to set our businesses up so that we could be location free. It'd been a dream before that. Um, we originally bought the business. We were like, oh, we're going to uh, work six months in New Zealand and then do six months in Thailand. But as the business grew, that just wasn't possible. Uh, not in the way we would built it because we built it to be really reliant on us. And then we slowly got to a place where it's like, oh, look, we could do that. The business can run without us. We've got a great team. We've got great systems in place. It, it could absolutely work. And so in, about seven years ago now, so what's that, 2017, Johnny and I actually set down a goal that we wanted to be able to run our businesses while traveling somewhere else, somewhere else. And on the weekend, we sold our car because we are just over two weeks out from leaving the country. So you're not crazy. It's totally okay. Everything in business, I think, takes longer and is harder than I anticipated when I started. Uh, and the reason for that is you just don't know what you don't know. Like, we didn't know what was going to be involved with getting everything set up in the house to Airbnb it. We didn't know what was going to be involved in building out the businesses so that we didn't have to be involved day to day. Uh, we had to think about how are people going to get contact with us on our phones and how, how are we going to get all of our tech stuff where it needs to go if we're moving about all the time? How are we going to make all of that work? And there were so many pieces, uh, tax implications, trust implications. There were so many pieces that we didn't know when we got started. And it's the same in any business. When you get out into business, you've got out into it for a variety of different reasons. Uh, for the most part, most of us have done a job or a task somewhere else for someone else and gone or seen someone else doing it and gone, I can do that. I could do that. Let me do that. And you've looked at one part of running the business and gone, I'm great at that. I can totally do that. In fact, I think I could probably do that better than they are. And you jumped out into business and then you went, oh, there's a whole lot of other stuff in here that I did not see, that I did not understand, that I did not think about. And now I've got to see it, think about it, understand it. And so it's okay. That's okay. You're not nuts. You're not crazy. You're not doing it wrong. It's just that when you got started, you had so much information and you made your decision based on that. It's what everybody does. Then once you get into business, you get more information. It's not the time to go, oh, shit, get me out of here, panic. It's okay. You just have to work now to make getting out into business a great decision. And any decision that you're making, the, the fact that it's a good decision or not is not made in the moment of the making. We want to make a good decision. Like, don't make it from an emotional place. Do some thinking about it. Be rational about it. Get some good advice. But good decisions are not made in that moment. They're made in the work that we do afterwards. They're made in the actions that we take afterwards to make it a great decision. It's the same with business. So when you get out into business, you don't make a great business in the moment that you decide to get into business. You make a great business as you go on that journey, as you learn more, as you take action. And so you're not crazy. It probably is taking you longer to get to those goals you set out. It probably is feeling harder. And that's okay, because as you go on this journey, you learn more, you understand more. Now, are there ways to shortcut it? Absolutely. Um, you can buy an existing business. You can uh, buy frameworks off people. You could dive into a franchise model. There are so many ways to get a little bit of a leg up and a step up on the journey. And still don't be surprised if it takes you longer than you anticipated. So like I say, seven years ago, we made that decision to go, okay, we're going to start to blend our life and business in a way, really, let's be honest, the way that we had it back when we were in our 20s, one to get it, now we're in our 40s, back a little more like that. So there's more travel, there's more fun, there's more adventure, because the whole appeal of the nine to five stay in a house, pay off a mortgage, send the kids to school, just wasn't there for us. So we wanted to get a little bit different. We wanted to get our life and business 
blended in a way that was going to work for Johnny and I and Scarlett, obviously, because she's going to come along. And it's taken us longer. We've had to do more things. We've had to think about more things. The external environment has absolutely impacted that. Uh, government decisions over the last few years, um, you know, with that, like all of that stuff has impacted our ability to get to this place where we can go. And now we're there. And it's very exciting. Uh, and it's been a journey to get there. And it's taken us a little while. So I think it's really important that you need you need a few things to to help you on those days where you're like, what am I doing? Because there's going to be days where you're like, I think I'm crazy for getting into business. Uh, more than a few, probably. Um, and that's okay. Um, you've got to be crazy to do something that most other people will never do. Uh, otherwise, you'd just be normal and have a job. And that's okay, too. Mm. But you need a few things. So you need to be really, really clear about what you want from your business. And that's not just like, how much money do I want to make? And how employee, many employees do I want to have? You want to be really clear about what is this business going to deliver our life? Because most, most women that I work with, we get out into business to get something from a life point of view. For most women that I talk with, it's about the freedom and the flexibility to do stuff for the people that they love. Uh, so if that's you, you need to be really clear about what is that flexibility you want it to look like? Do you only want to work school terms? You can totally do that. Do you only want to work school hours? You can totally do that. But you need to be clear and write it down. Don't keep it in here. Be clear about what you want so that you can start to blend the business you have and the business model you're building with the life that you want. So absolute clarity about what you want. You want to tell people about it. Talk to other people about it so you've got some accountability that's outside of you with other people. For us, we do it very strongly inside our family. Um, children are particularly good at holding you accountable, especially if uh, they're bought into what it is you're trying to achieve. So um, for us, sharing the travel with Scarlett, um, she loves to travel. Uh, and so she's really anticipating us getting there and has been kind of been like, oh, when will we get there? When will we get there? Uh, so that's been really helpful in terms of accountability. So clear on what you want, business and life-wise, some sort of accountability, share it with some people, find your community that's going to cheer you on and help you on the days when it does feel harder than it is and then you need an action plan and you need to consistently take action towards it towards the life and business that you want on a weekly daily monthly basis you need to be taking small little actions all the time and it's often not big drastic ones like sell all your stuff and sell your car and book a plane ticket for the most part it's been boring stuff that we've had to do consistently over time we've got a show up consistently in our business we've got to build systems and then tweak systems and train people and give people our trust and let them go and do things that were really scary um someone said to johnny this weekend oh is it scary thinking about someone else running your boat and yes i remember watching the boat go out the first time without johnny or i on it uh, and that was a few years ago now but the first time we let that happen it was scary letting go is scary uh, so you aren't crazy um, you are going to have to do some of the boring things over and over again to get to the life and the business that you want. And I promise you, it's worth it when you get there. I absolutely promise you it's worth it. So if you're going, oh, Sarah, I feel like I'm going nuts because this business stuff is so much harder than I anticipated. It's not you. It's the journey. Embrace that. Understand knowing where you're going is really important that it's pulling you towards where you want to be because you can run away from the pain of not making enough money and having not enough time for a little while but to to keep going for a longer period of time moving towards pleasure is going to help you moving towards the goal is going to help you far far more than anything else that's the first one tell some other people about it make sure they're as excited about it it, and they can help you get there as you go on that journey and then last get a plan and then work the plan over and over and over and over again um, I'm reading out loud my goals for our life every week and then I'm taking action with my time every week towards it and sometimes it's as simple as get rid of the stuff and sometimes it's as big as sell the car but we have been taking action every day towards the business life blend that we want and now we're really really close to getting there so you're not crazy, I promise. It is going to take a little longer. It is going to be a little hard, harder than you anticipated when you get started because you don't know what you don't know until you get going. And now you know, now you've got to overcome 
those extra things that you didn't know about before. And that's absolutely okay. You got this because you've got to be a little, just a little bit crazy to get out into this business journey because it's totally different from what everyone else is doing. Well, not everyone else, but the majority of people are doing. So you got this. Have a wonderful day.